Drinking some water can help with the dizziness. Oh, and, uh, lying flat on your back helps too. Thank you, Bennett. Seems like you really know your stuff. <laughs> well, when life gives you lemons... Bennett, weren't you feeling dizzy too? Stop pushing yourselves, both of you. Get some rest. We'll continue when you've gathered your energy. <laughs> Yula might come off as a little frosty, but she takes caring for her friends super seriously, more than anyone else I know. Every time I see that look on her face, I'm just like, ah, stop staring at me. Traveler, I know what that look means. What's on your mind? Maybe seasoned veterans have an instinct for it. I sense it too. Something seems to have changed, but I can't confirm for sure. It... It might be imprudent to speculate out loud, but I believe you know what I am referring to. <laughs> Traveler, I think... You... be a challenge. Stay back! I'm going to cut this thing down to size! Burst forth! Riptide! Let's light it up! There is no escape! Let's light it up! Shoot! I can't afford any more bandages! Adventure time! This! Who's next? Off we go! Burst forth! Teamwork is dream work! Illusion shattered! Inazuma shines eternal! Tidal wave! Brace yourself! This is gonna hurt! <laughs> what in the world was that thing? One moment it was human, the next it was a plant! Is everyone alright? We're fine. But can you please tell us what's going on? I... I don't understand. I take it this monster is whom I had the pleasure of meeting last time. Correct. As you might have guessed, this is a mutated whopper flower. An extremely rare kind. But... can whopper flowers turn into humans? Not typically. But conditions on Dragonspine are far from typical. 
Perhaps the dragon's blood seeped into the land, then was passed to the monsters via the ley lines, accelerating their rate of mutation. How could that happen? This mountain is home to the remains of Durin, the venomous dragon. If there is anywhere in the world one might expect life to do unfathomable things, it would most likely be here. Durin was an artificially created life form. Its existence is nothing short of a miracle and proof of countless possibilities. In other words, this mountain we stand on is a cradle of life's profoundest mysteries. A vast and terrifying hotbed of possibilities. The avalanche. It must have been the work of this imposter. Agreed. All the other troubles you faced on the way down could also have been its handiwork. My guess is that it was targeting everyone that I've had contact with. Right, I forgot all about that. It's not inconceivable. But what was its purpose? Was it just trying to get rid of us? Hmm... I have a preliminary hypothesis on this. Whopper flowers are masters of mimicry, and those we encounter in the wild often appear in the vicinity of the plants they impersonate. In other words, the whopper flower likely has an instinct to replicate and replace. As a plant, it will disguise itself as another plant and infiltrate the group, hiding among them for cover. The plant being imitated has no way to detect or fight back against this behavior. But, when it disguises itself as a human... It wanted to replace you and infiltrate our group? Yes. Maybe it created the avalanche to get rid of us. I predicted this eventuality, so I availed myself of the avalanche to hide and lure it out. It was watching us the whole time. And when it saw that I had disappeared, its instinct was to take my place. At that point, its disguise was complete, and its next move was to hunt its prey. Yes, that's exactly how Whopper Flowers operate. So when it approached and attacked Joel, what was that? A trial run? Perhaps. Or maybe it enjoyed posing as a human, and wanted to experience what it felt like to be human. We're fortunate to have discovered it in time. I think the Traveler was the first person other than Albedo to notice something was wrong. Traveler, how could you tell the real me and my imposter apart? I want to know too. I had no idea the other guy was an imposter. They looked exactly the same to me. I see. It goes to show how difficult it is to impersonate a human. This mutant whopper flower tried its best to replicate the original exactly but still managed to miss some details. Unbelievable. To think that Dragonspine creates such terrifying possibilities. Anyway, at least we won in the end. It looks like my method did work after all. <laughs> I used up all the bad luck, and the good luck finally came through! About that. If you're referring to having fallen down the mountain and avoided injury, well, that's because I was secretly protecting you. Huh? Uh, well, that still counts as good luck to me. <laughs> yes, that's not an unreasonable way of looking at it. Okay, we've been delayed long enough. Time to move on.